goes down. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Tonight will be, I think, the uh, least active in terms of yeah. weather area wide. So if you're heading out to Shrimpery this weekend, uh, just keep in mind there are going to be a few isolated showers in the area, not necessarily everyone going to see rain. I think there if there is any, uh, it would be later in the day, Saturday or Saturday night into Sunday. I think most of Saturday should be uh, dry, but again, the isolated activity will be in play mid 80s both Saturday and Sunday over in Aransas Pass right now. Still close to 90 in Corpus Christi with that heat index of 100 and east to southeast wind coming in 10 miles per hour. All of the action right now is to our north and west. This pink area, that's a severe thunderstorm watch. And those are the storms that are firing off on this front. And this is the front that will uh, come down into the coastal bend tomorrow afternoon. Look up north of the front. It's 59 degrees in Amarillo. We're not going to see or feel anything like that here. Uh, but again, this front will work down into the coastal bend tomorrow morning. San Antonio's in line for some thunderstorms overnight tonight. This batch of activity should dwindle as the front moves to the south, but we may see some brush country isolated activity first thing tomorrow morning. And as this front gets in closer, additional showers or storms mainly to the west of the coastal bend for Saturday afternoon. There's one caveat on this part of the forecast, though, with the front being so close to us. Some of the other modeling wants to dot shower and storm activity right over the coast, so that'll be something to at least put in your back pocket and know that it's possible. But the trend is that most of this stays off to the west. Then I think we see light stuff overnight Saturday into Sunday. Again, coverage not going to be very impressive at all. And by Sunday afternoon, I think we're flirting with sunny delight territory. I don't think it's going to be sunny. I don't think we're going to be that clear, but it's going to feel nicer on Sunday afternoon. Rainfall totals unimpressive, a trace to a tenth of an inch near the coast. West of Highway 281, a tenth to a quarter of an inch possible. And again, the coverage not looking impressive, but the chance is not zero either. So isolated to widely scattered stuff going to be possible in parts of the coastal bend through about noontime on Sunday. And after that, uh, things get quiet and they warm back up. We'll get a little break from the heat over the weekend, 87 Saturday, 83 Sunday, uh, but then the highs rebound back to the upper 80s. Heat index values in the middle to maybe upper 90s for all of next week. Tonight, 72, a few clouds out there. Southeast wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow afternoon, uh, 87, increasing cloud coverage. And again, there will be an isolated shower or storm chance, but right now it looks like most of that uh, will be to the west of the area. East to northeast wind 7 to 14 miles per hour. If you're going out to the beach, sunscreen will be a must. Temperatures in the mid to low 80s. Water temp right now is at 82. One to two foot waves on near shore waters. If you're out on the bays or near shore Gulf waters, slightly choppy east to northeast breeze 5 to 15 knots. And again, just an isolated shower or storm chance in play over the weekend. Not everyone will get rain, and if you do, it's going to be on the order of a tenth of an inch or so. And after the weekend, a lot quieter. We're into the copy paste mode uh, part of the forecast with highs in the upper 80s. Sunny to partly cloudy skies each day and plenty of humidity. Lots of choices for what to get out and do this weekend. Oh, yeah. Have All fun right. doing it. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it, Alan.